some of them running. Well, good morning. I'm walking into the pond where I have the three otter traps in. I haven't been in there since a few days ago. I've been busy. But uh, it's time for me to go in because there is otter in the trap. It uh, just too long, left there too long. It was paint and the fur will slip, so I need to go in and check it. Certainly, we've got lots of snow now. Only three traps, and only about a kilometer. So, rather than use the snowmobile, I'll uh, I'd rather walk in here. A little bit of exercise, anyhow. I believe it's uh, 13 years I've been in this area, Clarenville area. And I think this is the most snow we have had this early, middle of January, for the 13 years I've been here. So we were late getting it, but uh, we certainly got dumped on recently. See a few uh, rabbit tracks out. Uh, first one I uh, started out at the edge of the woods there, but not much sign in here. But anyhow, I don't bother with rabbits anymore last couple of years because they've been very scarce. Some persons are getting a few just the same. If I do get one or two, I, I give them to certain individuals. Well, there's, there's a rabbit track there, but when the rabbit came across the trail there, just right here I've got the uh, couple of uh, snares and no bait to them a walk through sit for lynx or, or whatever sometimes you'll pick up a, a scattered fox like that anyhow I've got a whole lynx leg meat cut off it but I'm going to put that there now where the snares are and just in case a lynx come along a couple of years ago a lynx came in through the trail up through there and went out through the woods right there and that's why I sit that there at that time well nothing there now but anyhow I'm going to try to put that bait on there now Ooh, the trees are loaded down with the with the snow anyhow I'll turn you off and turn you back on a little later In the hill, that's the snare. I got the lynx uh, leg hung up there in the tree. The two snares there for a walk through. In the hill, let's try it. Any, see what happens.
Not much rabbit sign. Let's get her one. So squirrels. I have a foot in there. Well, I don't know what happened to the coyotes. There aren't very many around now, no sign of any. It seems to be the same talking to a guy in the central Newfoundland and finding the same thing up there. This coyote is very scarce. There were a few around earlier to fall, but they soon got caught up and now there's not a sign. Well, I guess there's a heavy trapping on them. A lot of people trapping, a lot of people hunting them. To, to get the uh, five, $25 bounty and coyotes. And that's all right, I suppose. Keep the numbers down because their reports are they kill the Moose, ca moose, moose cubs and caribou. Although I think mostly kill the rabbits from small rodents for their food. But I'm sure they'll take down a, a, a moose calf and larger moose that's probably not very healthy. And caribou. I've seen evidence where they've killed moose. Then again we have wolves in, in this area in Newfoundland. So it may be the wolves doing that. Anyhow I'm going to turn you off and I'll turn you back on again when I get into the pond. Anyhow, you take care. God bless. There's a fox coyote snare there. There's nothing in that one. It's the only one I got in here. Other than the two snares I showed you outside. But anyhow, when I come back now, I'll uh, sit that up again. You can see how much snow we've got since I set it there. That was about 10, 12 inches above the snow. And now snow is up to the bottom of the snare. We got a nice rabbit lead in here. One crawled in under the, the old tree trunk there by the look of it. Here we go. We dodge on a little further. Nice morning, sun is shining, minus 10. Last, this past week, is the most, the uh, heaviest frost we have had, down to minus 12 one day. So we haven't had very cold weather, so that's why we have so many accidents this year. So over three or four, Drownings, I know of three winter ice and uh, man and his son winter ice <laughs> side by side they were pulling shoving the snow off the ice for the boys to skate and the side by side went through. There was a man in central went through and another one in Labrador I know of. So have to be very careful. 
because the ponds aren't safe enough yet. We haven't had enough frost really to freeze them. And with this snow, certainly insula insulation on top of the ice, what little ice there is, so that won't allow it to freeze very quickly. Hopefully now, with the snow, the pond will sink and the water seep through. And when that freezes then, that will thicken the ice, make it more secure. Here we are into the pond. It's quite a gym, quite a walk. A bit of exercise this morning because Trying to beat the pat and snowshoes on. It's very difficult. Hard going. Right there, I've got a trap sit over the crossover from the dam. So I'll check that one. Hopefully, we'll get one here. If not, then we'll keep them sit for a while yet excuse to come for a walk and check them once a week I don't think there's anything in that. Not indeed. Now I'll get my axe out. Side, I'm not sure if it's a not a moose foot, it's either a lynx or a coyote track. And you know, I'll check that out on the way back. It's a beaver house, that's where I got the beaver the other day. So I'm gonna check this now and see what happens. Something or nothing. Lots of snow. Lots and lots and lots. That's where we got the beaver. The, uh, it's a beaver otter. And this one the other day. So we'll check this one first. A lot of uh, I don't think there's a lot of water in there no let me uh, see if I can find a stick to poop down else usually you can tell if there's something in Nothing in there today. Yep. Nothing in that one today. Ah, what's the other one? 
I had a mare last one and I didn't get anything. But I had the mare about one week and come back I had a, uh, an otter. So I might be the only one I get for the winter. <laughs> Lots of snow. Oh, nothing in there. Well, nothing today. Only tree traps here, but you never know. You have to keep checking them. I'm curious. Whatever that was across there, it's gone on along there, but it was since the foot has kind of snowed in. Gone on into there, I guess. It's hard to tell what it is. It's either a cat or a, well, it looks like it went there. Maybe it turned around and back, went back down across the pond there. There's two footings there. And so it went down and came back. No one went out, out across that way. I had more bait, I'd put a uh, sit there and then on that point. But anyhow, anyhow, I'll leave them for another three or four days and I'll come back and check them next week. Yeah. What's today? Today is Tuesday, so I'll come back again Monday or Tuesday next week and check them. The water is always open there. Make a link. Uh, sit down on that point there somehow. Come up to the there. Hmm. Up to 
there. Whatever it was. Oops. Oh. And I'll turn you off. Talk to you later. You take care. God bless. Well, I got that one set up again. I don't know what the, the sign was over there, but it's fooling around that pond. Full. It's uh, it's crossed the pond a couple of times. It's it's before the snow, last snowfall, so it's hard to tell what it is, but it looks like a lynx track to me. So I got that one set a little smaller there than I normally would. It's been plenty of high to get a lynx or a coyote or a fox that comes through with the chin, lift, chin lifter there. Anyhow, all I can do is hope for the best. Anyhow, take care. God bless.